Hi everyone, welcome to my art room. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make one of these beautiful tie-dyed marker print Easter eggs. The supplies that you'll need are markers, a piece of paper, a permanent marker or a crayon, and aluminum foil. I hope you enjoy this lesson and I look forward to seeing your beautiful creations. You want the egg shape to take up most of the page, but it does not have to take up the whole page. So you make a curved line at the bottom and you go up on the sides and curve the top and then connect the two and you have another egg shape. After you make your egg, you want to decorate it. We're gonna decorate this with a few different shapes and patterns. So I'm gonna put a zigzag line here, maybe a wavy line here, another wavy line here. You can write a word in here if you want, like you could write Jesus, just like that, and put some hearts next to it. Make another pattern line across. Maybe yours has polka dots. Maybe a couple of straight lines. And you can leave it just like that. I'm gonna touch up the word a little bit. Make the letters a little bit bigger. You don't have to write a word on yours. I'll just touch it up. Next, we're going to get out some aluminum foil. If you don't have aluminum foil, a potato chip bag would work. With the aluminum foil, we're going to draw with marker on the aluminum foil and then print together. My piece of foil is not big enough, so I have this old potato chip bag that I'm going to use, and that's quite big. It'll be big enough to print on this. If you want to use an old potato chip bag or even saran wrap, you can do that. Make sure you clean it really well first. So I cleaned the inside of my potato chip bag with soap and water, um, and then I dried it off. You want to make sure that you get all of the grease out of the bag because you don't want that to get all over your picture. So after you clean it off and you drew your picture here in permanent marker or crayon, then you can draw all over your chip bag. You can do the colors however you want. I'm just gonna draw kind of some stripes of colors on here. You don't have to draw perfect, but it's nice to keep the colors kind of separated. Just color all over. You want to color an area that's as big as your paper when you do this. You don't have to spend too much time doing it. It doesn't have to be perfect. So you can do this on aluminum foil or the inside of a potato chip bag. You could even do it on the outside of your potato chip bag, but that might make it a little bit hard to see. After you've colored that, you want to get a damp sponge or paper towel to get your paper wet. So I've gotten a towel that's a little bit wet, not soaking wet, but just wet enough to make the paper a little bit shiny. Notice how it starts curling like that? That's a good sign. It means you've gotten it a little bit wet when it starts to curl. So you get your paper wet, and then I'm gonna turn it face down on top of where I drew with those markers. And then you wanna give it a nice back rub from the back. Give it a nice back rub. And when you're done, you can lift this up. And voila, you've got a pretty design on top of your Easter egg. If you want, you can leave it like this, or you can take scissors and cut this out. So cut off the excess. Now it's kind of like a tie-dye Easter egg. And 
And then you have a beautiful Easter egg that you can hang in your window, or you can get a piece of colorful construction paper and glue it on like that, and you have a beautiful piece of art.